autoantibodies could be the explanation for severe COVID cases, but a study reveals that medical supplies could reduce the risk the unstable immune system in patients with the virus could also do to long COVID, scientists assume. Severe COVID-19 disease could also be caused by increasing levels of friendly fire from the immune system and leave patients with long COVID. As medical problems persist for a substantial time after the virus has been defeated, scientists have stated. Researchers at Yale University found that COVID-19 patients hold significant numbers of misguided antibodies in their blood that aimed toward the organs, tissues, and therefore the system itself instead of fighting off the invading virus. The scientists compared immune responses in patients and uninfected people and explored many aberrant antibodies within the former. These blocked antiviral defenses cancelled out helpful immune cells, and offended the body on many fronts, from the brain, blood vessels, and liver to animal tissue and therefore the alimentary canal. Further examines showed that the more autoantibodies patients hold in their blood, the more severe their disease. The COVID-19 patients had more antibodies that had turned on them than people with lupus, an autoimmune disorder that resulted from an equivalent wayward antibody. COVID-19 patients make autoantibodies that interrupt immune responses against the virus, stated Aaron Ring an immunobiologist at Yale and senior author on the study. Other autoantibodies attacked different parts of the body that are known to become damaged in people with the disease. We believe that these autoantibodies aren't good to patients with COVID-19, said Ring, adding that the harmful effects could continue after the infection has abated, leaving patients with longer-lasting medical problems. Because antibodies can persist for a longer time, it's easy to understand that they'll contribute to the development of long COVID diseases, he confirmed. He also added that with decent use of medical supplies such as medical masks, disposable gloves, COVID diseases can be reduced. Ring partnered with Akiko Iwasaki, a professor of immunobiology at Yale, to test 194 patients and hospital workers with different severities of COVID infection for autoantibodies that aimed toward nearly three. OOO human proteins. Antibodies inactive viruses by latching onto proteins on the virus surface, however, autoantibodies are the incorrect shape and mistakenly bind to proteins that are on, or are released by, human cells. The scientists describe how COVID patients had dramatic increases in autoantibody reactivities compared with 30 healthy hospital workers who didn't have the virus, writing within the study which has yet to be peer-reviewed and released during a journal. While certain autoantibodies in some patients were present before the COVID-19 infection, others appeared and ramped up because the disease progressed. With medical supplies from Maza, including protective suits, the diseases are expected to be better controlled. More than 5% of hospitalized patients had autoantibodies that weakened a key arm of the immune defense that's orchestrated by proteins called interferons. These patients were unable to regulate the number of viruses in their bodies then developed a more serious illness. In two particular samples of fratricide, other patients had autoantibodies that targeted B-cells the cellular factories that turn out antibodies to fight the virus, while one patient had autoantibodies that seemed to wipe out many of their protective T-cells, rather than one type of autoantibody being responsible. The scientists believe that COVID-19 is worsened when various wayward antibodies arise within the same patient. Tests in mice with several autoantibodies confirmed that they made the animals more vulnerable to infection and more likely to die from the disease. The aggregate sum of those multifarious responses may explain a big portion of the clinical variation in patients. The authors write. Scientists have long understood that conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and MS are driven by the system malfunctioning and attacking the body, but less is understood about viral infections and their ability to induce autoimmune reactions. Work is now undergoing to research whether autoantibodies are responsible for long term symptoms in diseases like Ebola and chikungunya, and also in cancer patients after immunotherapy. 
If COVID-19 autoantibodies endure within the body they could play a neighborhood in long COVID, Ring said, post-COVID syndromes could plausibly be caused by autoantibodies that persist well after the virus is cancelled out from the body, he said. If this is often the case, there are immunosuppressive treatments, like those used for rheumatological diseases, that would be effective. Long COVID is assumed to affect about 10% of 18 to 49-year-olds, rising to at least 1 in 5 among the over 70s. Danny Altman, professor of immunobiology at Imperial College, London, who wasn't involved in the study, said autoantibodies could well explain the variability of COVID symptoms and therefore the longer-lasting ailments some patients experience. I consider this very likely, especially by analogy to Ebola and chikungunya, where autoimmunity does seem to be an enormous a part of the solution. An enormous part of our lab direction of travel for the approaching months is trying to relate long COVID symptoms to autoimmune profiles. He asked.